हेलो एवरीवन आई एम अरिना इंटरनेशनल मास्टर एंड फीडे इंस्ट्रक्टर ऋषिकेश चौहान वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज चेस मेड सिंपल एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज मोबिलिटी सो लेट्स स्टार्ट व्हाट इज अ मोबिलिटी मोबिलिटी इज द पीस इज एबिलिटी टू मूव सो इफ अ पीस हैज लॉट ऑफ स्क्वेयर टू मूव अराउंड वी कैन से इट इज मोर मोबाइल एंड और इट हैज मोर मोबिलिटी and if a piece is a piece has very less squares to move or piece has no squares to move around so we can say uh, the mobility of that piece is very less or a piece is less mobile uh, normally less mobile pieces are cramped pieces and these less mobile pieces can be trapped very easily now look at the position there are three knights uh, placed on the board so one knight is on a1 this knight is on uh, this knight is in the corner so as you can see there are only two squares available for the knight then the knight on f1 is on the side line and if we can find then there are four squares available for this knight then let's concentrate on this e5 knight this knight has eight possible squares to move around i'm just marking all the eight squares so that you can uh, see knight moves knight can move to maximum eight squares so that way this knight is doing the maximum work or the knight is working at its full capacity such knight is called an, oct an octopus knight now you know what is an octopus right so that way if all the eight squares of a knight are on the board knight is called an octopus knight now if we compare all the three knights we will come to know that this knight is the uh, least mobile then this more knight is bit less mobile but this e5 knight is the maximum uh, mobile or it is with the maximum mobility let's move ahead to learn this top topic well now look at this a8 knight this knight is less mobile or this knight has less mobility because it is placed badly so the first reason uh, for a piece being less mobile is He, uh, that piece uh, uh, placement if that piece is placed on a poor square or normally in a corner then the uh, mobility of that piece will be very less now concentrate on this c1 uh, knight now before we move ahead consider this position separately so this is a separate position this position is a separate position and the position on the right is a separate position so we can say we have arranged three different position on the one board just to avoid setting uh, uh, board three times so on the top left corner that is this position the knight is badly placed and that is why the mobility is less here c1 knight's mobility is less because it is uh, cover, uh, surrounded by enemy pieces so as you can see this bishop is blocking all the escape squares of the knight so this knight is trapped it it has very less mobility or you can say zero mobility and then this knight can be easily picked up by white by playing king b1 or king b2 so here the knight is less mobile because it is surrounded by enemy pieces now let's look at this uh, right hand side uh, position white bishop is less mobile normally uh, it is very difficult to uh, cramp or to trap a long range piece as long range piece is a quick moving piece uh, but here black can trap this piece by playing f4 now if you look at the position you will come to know that this bishop, bishop is less mobile because of his own pawns so to summarize this there are three factors which can affect the mobility of your piece first its placement if the piece is placed on the uh, corner square or sideline square its uh, mobility is less second factor is whether the piece is surround, uh, surrounded by enemy pieces and third factor is whether that piece is blocked by your own pieces so uh, whenever you are planning something whenever you are looking for a good move see if there is any less mobile piece in opponent's area so that you can trap that piece and also see uh, if there is any less mobile piece in your camp uh, which can be trapped easily by your opponent let's move ahead uh, now here this is again a study position there are four minor pieces two knights and two bishops let's study this uh, pieces uh, one by one we'll start with the knight on a8 
this knight's mobility is very less it has just one square to move away because the other square is blocked by his own pawn uh, this knight is less mobile because it is uh, placed in the corner uh, the placement of the knight is very bad but this is temporary the knight's mobility problem is temporary it's not permanent because uh, black can move the knight to c7 and once the knight is on c7 it can move to more bright square or it can go to, uh, go to more attacking squares so we can say the knight's mobility problem is temporary let's uh, think on this knight uh, this uh, knight's mobility is less because it is covered by many opponent's pawns and all these pawns are covering his uh, movements as you can see sorry so uh, we can say this knight is mobile uh, knight is not mobile because it is covered or it is surrounded by enemy pieces and can we do something about the uh, mobility can we increase the mobility of the knight yes we can how we are going to play a4 and then finally a5 if he exchanges the pawn then we'll capture with the knight and now our knight is free if if after uh, pushing the pawn to a, a4 and a5 if he pushes the pawn ahead instead of capturing then we will get this c5 square for our knight and now our knight is active so again we can say the mobility problem of this white knight is temporary now let's focus on this bishop on g7 now this bishop is blocked by his own pawns so what can we do about the bishop we can move the bishop to a, a more active squares so that way we can try and play bishop to f8 then we can move the bishop to a3 and then let's assume this knight is moved till then then we can play bishop to c1 and then finally this bishop can land on this f4 square uh, let me tell you the bishop is still bad once it is on f4 he cannot go back but at least he is doing some work from this f4 square so again we can say the bishop's mobility issue is temporary now let's focus on this last minor piece that is uh, white bishop on f3 as you can see the mobility is a problem of the bishop is very serious there is no way this bishop can come out of this uh, pawn cage uh, uh, any soon there is no way he can come out and that way this bishop is very bad and this bishop's mobility problem is permanent so even if there is a, a less mobile piece in your position see whether its mobility problem is uh, temporary or permanent let's move ahead okay uh, now if we compare the material white is six points down white is double exchange down plus he has two less pawns but if you study this position closely you will see that all these pieces on the king side are totally immobile their mobility is zero not a single piece or pawn can move so it is a battle between these three white pieces and uh, versus these two black pieces and with the help of the king white is going to push the pawn ahead and one fine day he will capture this pawn on c7 and then black will have to sacrifice his rook to stop the queen promotion and then white is going to win easily again this is all possible only because uh, black's pieces are less mobile otherwise with those extra six points black is going to win definitely so in this uh, uh, less uh, material position white is going to win only because of his better mobility let's move ahead okay uh, so you can consider this as a puzzle we are white in this position uh, how white can win uh, extra material very easily so to do that let's start finding a piece or a, let's start finding a black piece with less mobility there are only two black pieces present on the board of course we cannot trap the king because then if you trap the king it is called a checkmate uh, so that's of course we want to give a checkmate but uh, king's mobility is never an issue so knight looks a bit odd as it is blocked by his own pawns and all his escape squares are covered by white pieces and white pawns so that way we can say knight's mobility is zero but can we capture the knight right now no because no white piece is attacking the knight but we can attack the knight on the next move by playing a4 and now as you can see 
knight's mobility is zero and knight is trapped and knight is gone so white is getting a free piece over here let's move ahead okay let's see what we can do uh, we are black so let's uh, try and find out less mobile white piece uh, this queen looks odd on h6 because this queen is surrounded by so many black pieces so normally whenever your piece is surrounded by enemy pieces it has very less squares to move away so we are going to play rook to h8 and now as you can see queen's mobility becomes zero queen is trapped and black is definitely going to win this game next position please okay uh, let's check it's the starting part of the just opening uh, part of the game uh, pieces are not yet developed but still here by using mobility white can get extra material which black piece is mobile of course these rooks are uh, immobile uh, they are not doing anything much but they are deep inside black's position it is not easy for white to reach there but look at this knight this knight looks very sad on that h5 square it has no way to move away all those four squares are attacked by either white pieces or they are blocked by his own pawns but we cannot capture the knight right now because it has support so what do we do of course we are going to attack the knight one more time by playing bishop e2 and now as you can see knight is gone there is no way black can give one more support to the knight next position please okay uh, so here we are white let's see which black piece we can uh, trap uh, there are only three pieces left with white out of those three pieces two pieces are uh, these bishops and they are inside white's position they are not surrounded by enemy position then so that way it is very difficult to trap them but look at the queen her majesty is blocked on a6 there are no way or no uh, escape squares for the queen so we are going to play knight to b8 and now the queen is trapped now here white can uh, try a, a, a tricky move that is bishop to f4 what he is planning if white moves the king away he can simply capture the knight or he, uh, he can simply move the queen away and then queen can run away but here again we are going to capture the queen of course he has to capture the queen now and we will be getting this uh, extra bishop and we got a free piece again this all was possible just because white's queen was less mobile white's queen was trapped and that way we are getting more material let's see the this position what to do uh, here uh, black's last move was to play knight into b6 he just captured a pawn on the b6 and that way he's pawn up uh, by doing so he missed uh, one very important concept his knight after he goes to the uh, a4 square the mobility of his knight will be very less or we can say it's zero so white correctly assess the position and then he plays rook into queen now after black queen is captured he is forced to capture white queen and once knight is moved on the corner line his mobility comes to four now he has just four squares to move away but as you can see all the four squares are under attack knight's mobility is zero and knight can be trapped easily so of course the correct move is rook c4 and black knight is lost we'll conclude this topic with this very interesting position uh, let's assume it is white to play what will you play in this position there are no tactics coming up there are no sacrifices there are no combinations but you have to find some positional move you can pause this uh, you can pause this video over here you can find that brilliant move for white i hope uh, you have paused the video and you uh, tried searching for the move so let's see what is the move uh, here let's assume it is suppose it is black to play what will he play rook a to c8 or maybe rook uh, e to c8 no that won't uh, pose any problem for white but here the brilliant move or the only saving move you can say for black is to play knight to c5 once this knight comes to c5 
night is doing a lot of things this night will become an uh, octopus night as we have just uh, uh, discussed so here night is attacking the bishop night is giving this four con uh, b3 so many things are happening uh, to stop this knight c5 let's assume white plays bishop to e3 this idea won't work because uh, let's assume white plays bishop e3 after knight c5 bishop into knight pawn into bishop and now why uh, black has pawn majority on the queen side he will start pushing the pawns he will start activating his pieces and very soon he will have a comfortable winning position so that way uh, putting that bishop to e3 and stopping the knight wasn't a good idea so if you can find this knight c5 uh, move this is the only winning move for black if you can find this move then only you can find your correct move here the correct move is to play b5 and now as you can see the knight is suffocated so knight is totally smothered he cannot move anywhere for example let's see he moves over here but what next he cannot move over here he cannot move over here so the only square left is this so let's assume maybe white plays something like this so maybe he can move to, uh, his knight to f7 but what next he cannot move to d6 he cannot move to e5 he cannot move to g5 uh, he can move to h6 but again even after moving to h6 nothing is happening why nothing is happening because knight is again placed on the very sad square so that way even after moving the knight thrice knight is sitting very poorly and this is uh, because there is no uh, important or we can say no active square left for the knight knight's mobility is gone and knight is trapped see because of all these dark square uh, pawns the bishop's mobility is already very less so black already has some problems to deal with and now this less mobile knight adds more problems and that way this game is uh, gone or we can say black cannot save this game white will simply uh, start doubling the rooks then maybe he can play bishop to e3 and then maybe he can play bishop to b6 uh, even if white uh, wants to be uh, a bit adventurous he can try his luck with this bishop into b5 uh, sacrifice because after this he can simply start pushing the pawn uh, right now it's not a good idea there is no uh, need to uh, make this game exciting if you can win without letting your opponent any counter attack then that is the best way to win don't try to uh, make the game uh, over complicated so this is discovered uh, uh, this is mobility for you so i hope you uh, enjoyed and understood this weakness or understood this concept so till the next time thank you very much